give you more information. I'll take a photo of this and then I'll... Right, so I'll just knock this off a minute, get dug out the car and we'll be on for a walk. And everybody's got white trainers on so it must be pretty decent on the track. I assume it's not too dirty if you've got white trainers on. <laughs> Are, are they good tracks? It's, it's pretty, it's pretty In part, but you can at least go round them. Wally's would be a better choice. Right, I've got Wally's in my car, I'm going to put Wally's on now. Man, your dog's alright, it's not too dirty. <laughs> okay, well, tra well trained then, eh? <laughs> okay, have a nice day, though. And as you can see here, I'm just quickly going to do this because I've just spotted this. You can see Anley in the distance. So we're not too far away from city centre. I'd say possibly four, four mile, five mile away. Yeah, you can just see the tops of the uh, sky. Um, flats. I was going to say skyscrapers. That they aren't skyscrapers far from it. Probably by 12 floors high, 15 floors. Uh, that's done just off Button on your road. Look you down. Let's knock this off a minute and we'll start to walk officially. Okay, there's a lovely lady there, just to give me uh, a lowdown on the old area and what I'd expect to see with footwear and everything. Because you've got to be, you've really got to be prepared on some of these walks. She said, because I'm in trainers, I have got wallies and I've got hiking, hiking trainers that uh, my wife bought me. They're a good pair, but I don't know what be changing me if I can get away with it. So, she's told me to go this way, which is the most the right side here path, she says pretty much it is. She says if you go straight, it's about, she said you can do this about probably 20, 30 minutes, steady walking. So that's what I'm gonna do for the first one. I'll probably come back, return, and do, she says, well it is, I've seen it marked up on the plan there, the walking route, so it's up to five mile, I think. But she says that'll take you right down to the marshes. Now, we've had rain. A bit more rain, so most unusual, isn't it? Um, stay well away from marshes, is that if you're walking around in trainers? And I did bath the dog yesterday, so I don't want her as filthy as a come either. And there's no wash off points there, I've just noticed. There's no nothing at all, so I can wash it off at home when I get home, but I don't want me doing that. I don't want me bringing in the car filthy. So we're going to keep two and do our best keeping to, I mean this is close enough, I'll just plot my way through, there's supposed to be signposted routes but the markers go off the posts you know you've got your red, your blue, your white routes and I just asked the lady, says no you can't see them, once you start getting into the walks you can't see the sign marked off the colour code so I'm just going to use my mouse and just walk around accordingly but yeah this is nice isn't it, so yeah Back onto it, I rattled on a bit, wetly more common. Yeah, when I get back to, uh, yeah, I was just about on the subject, I've just knocked the video back on. There are, or should make out, say centre screen, or around the centre screen area, you can just make them out now, they're coming on me. On my screen, I can see them, what's that reeking? And the hills there to the left, uh, which is the Telford, uh, Telford Shropshire area. But yeah, um, quite a view from here. So we are quite high up. I'll just go on to Winescape. Now. Oh, 
now we're looking at the east of the city here and if you can just make that out there I'm sure that would be the Buxton Ashbourne Road out of Leek over that side there yeah that would be the A53 and just before you drop into the Buxton area and you've got leak around that area so you've got quite a view right I'll do a 360 pan around from here that's a nice place there. some nice little cottages and houses there oh, I wish the sun was out because this would be such a nice, much nicer shot line it up a touch quite dark this is I hope it comes up lighter when I'm playing it back Yeah, it's quite a viewpoint from here, isn't it? Millie's a little bit confused, not to show what we're doing here. Right, we'll continue. And here we have it, a fork in the road. What do we do? I want to continue. I Then, I just wonder what this walk is like. me the way Mel. Well she hasn't got she has got a little bit of a limp on. But not as bad as it was a couple of days ago. Just after she'd had a little uh, fall over a lead up uh, Trenton Wood, Trenton Park. Come on Mel you're in my way. I think I'm gonna portrait you. Steps there. Yeah, it's some Campton Wild, which I like. I do like that, the natural um, the natural uh, foliage and growth about it, you know, nature's way, isn't it? I don't know what they call these here. I know where uh, there's a guy that does YouTube videos and he goes all over the Peak District he goes a lot and he does actually go into uh, West Wales and he goes down Cornwall and places like that does uh, van camping wandering where and he always makes a beeline for these on top of the hills and that they mark us more And he does this. Always gives it a little tick.
round it, Mel. <laughs> this is how the real is. Lovely. Okay, I can clearly see what's happened here now. Now I've come down there. That's not too bad. I think I'll actually go down there and come back on myself. Because I would think if I went and continued down there, I'd go really wide on. Yeah. But the car's parked up there, so this would be the middle I'm path, obviously. Because there's three paths coming off the car park. Obviously one to the left, which would take you round that way. This one through the middle, and the one round the top where I went. Pretty straightforward, really. Let's have a look. We'll go this way for a while, see how we go. even entertain that. That would be quite boggy even without the rain yesterday. Let's have a look. Nosy along here. Oh Mel, no, 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 don't go in the mud. She hasn't done too bad there. Ah, this could be a bit rough underfoot. This is what that woman was on about doing these walks like. Because of the overhang of the trees. They're not in the opening drying out and they're low down all this other again. All the water along the this is a nice little meadow here. Little field with the buttercups. Grass blowing. Now this how this. No Mel, we aren't doing it. Too muddy too wet so uh, we'll backtrack on that one come on I don't want you going filthy come on over this side good girl sorry boy yeah. oh, God, the noise it makes when I pull on the lead grunts another day for that mill and we'll certainly do a return visit here. we are the first lady I spoke to when I got out of the car or the second lady should I say was talking about the water out. This is the Ford she was on about. She says there's a Ford, country Ford in the road. This is it. This is, isn't it? <laughs> but this is definitely the old farm roads. This is here. Um, and to the house there, yeah. There's a couple of houses up there, I think. But these roads would have been put in years and years ago for the farms. So it's not your typical hiking route until you come on to this type of thing here. Go on Mel, go on. Sorry, little nose around here. And that won't go too far in, but just for next time I come. This is nice, I like this. And this is alright, this is not muddy at all. I'd like to let her off the lead, but I just don't trust her because see that little track there? She'd be along there and gone. And I call her back and she'll just look at me as if I'm stupid. Come on, Mel, keep going. Oh, 
Yeah, there's just tons of little uh, branch offs in that for walk through different types of walkways. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely, as he says. Oh, mole worlds. Quite a few of them about here. I'm assuming the mole worlds. I think they are here. Bloody hell, I'm gonna run with them. They're everywhere. I'll just go to this corner here and then I'll backtrack because I don't want it too far out. Ah, fly in the eye. It's after coming off the phone with the wife. I'm just going to pick her up in about half an hour, I've told her, so we will start making our way back. But yeah, going back to what I was just about to say, we've come down the path. Now, a chap I've just spoke to, another very helpful chap, he said, if you continue on this pathway, you, you can make a loop walk back to the main car park where I parked up, but you'd have to go on to Ashbank Road. I don't want to go on the main road with here. I mean, she's fine on this and that, but I don't. I haven't come here for walk up main road, so I'm going to double back. Uh, and yes, as I said before, these are definitely roads that have been here many years because, as you can see, there's a home there, and there is one just on the corner here. Uh, so yeah, these have definitely been put in many years ago to service these houses that have uh, been built many years ago. And you've got a couple of, well, you've got at least one farm at the road there, so yeah, 
but yeah this is really nice now I'm kind of getting to enjoy it a lot more because I love this type of thing here Come on, Mel, you can't go in there. Yeah, it's looking that way. There's a ramp there, look. Never mind. Nice day for walking. St. George's flag flying high and proud there, look. That's what I like to see. What a lovely house that is. Look at the brickwork on that. That's nice. Now see, I don't know. It doesn't say private road and nothing does it. Oh, there's a gate there. Drive past these places, you know, on these little beer roads and you just don't think pulling in, do you? And parking up and just having a little walk around. And this is what you find. This is definitely going to go out to Ashbank, this is. No worries. The Union Jack flag, a bit tatted. Looking a bit weather beaten, but flying high and proud. Proud of you. I've just been told just got this road here. If I carried on on that road, I've just been walking along and I've come on to Ashbank Road. But he said this, some folk down there have assessed and told them I parked up on the what the more uh, walkabout. He says, no, you need to go be.
and with a cane all close. So it's a cul-de-sac of course, so do the left, then you walk through some woods and then you come to the car park. What a lovely area. It's really nice. Nearly there, man. Well, I see nearly there, I don't know how far we've got to go through the woods. I think I forgot to mention, I've got another eight miles to walk once I've been through the woods. <laughs> Who knows? Ah, here's the path. And as you can see, it's marked off again. Well, the roads have still got a bit of a walk, do. Welcome to Wendell. Okay, so here we are again now. Time mill. Getting a bit blustery now. It's getting more in the open look. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the car park. Yeah. Well, I know it's just direct action. I just don't want it to be too far now. Okay. Finally, finally, finally. Just around the corner from where I'm just said. Back to the car park. Jim. You know, I'm um, not losing my bearings as such because I knew I'd got to go over to see it and now I know I've got to go see it in directions it ain't that bloody complicated it's just when things go out of sight I know one time but now is a wood look here right off the car park so I would certainly be looking to do that as well and veering off to the right because I know that sidles on down that path there and then go round that other way when I come brilliant so yeah anyway thanks for looking in folks Hope you've enjoyed this video. The first of many to come uh, doing these uh, National Trust parks uh, within a 10 12 mile radius of my own address in the area of North Staffordshire. This one being Watley Moor. Watley Moor Common. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.